Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs, Re Pure Assault, Return to Hoth Expansion. This is our last episode of the campaign for Return to Hoth. And we have one thing left to do. Everybody is alive. We've got a lot of strain going on, which kind of stinks. And I've thought about what we're going to do, and here we go. All right, so movement number one is going to be done by Finn. One, two, three, four. Lima at four. Plus one speed, plus one endurance while he's injured. Five. He will take another one, two, three, four, five. He will then take superior positioning, move which will be one, two, three, four, five. And he will remove a strain for Lone Wolf. And on top of that, he is focused. So unfortunately, this isn't going to end on this turn. It's probably not going to end on this turn. Okay, so we're going to bombard just like we did before. One damage. Two damage. Yeah, I don't think this bombardment is going to work, even if he gets another turn in. And of course, really, how Finn gets two next to him is beyond me, but he does. None for Diala. One for Verna. And Gideon gets none. Okay, that ends Thorn's turn. We're going to move. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's all she's going to be able to do at this point. Verna is going to go on ahead and attack. She is going to use her DL-44. She is going to use her DL-44. Point blank. And that's all she's going to be able to do. Sorry about that. She will take a yellow and a red versus a black, I would assume. Yes. Four damage right off the bat. She does the exact same thing. And this time, though, plus two. So she will end up doing one damage. That's the end of Verna's turn. And what the heck? One, two, three, one, two, three. And now Gideon. Gideon is going to move one, two, three, four. 
and that is enough to get him close enough to do a command. So we are going to go on ahead and use command with Yes, you guessed it. Finn is going to get him at point blank range. He will use, wow, called shot. He will use trench fighter. Which gets an extra two damage. He is already focused. And that's all he's going to need to use. So he has a blue and a green versus a black plus a green for being focused. Plus this damage already. And that's out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Took out Scorn by himself. Oh, could have if not for Verna. So, defeat General Soren. Uh, oh, you were nobody, he gasps. I was destined for glory. How could this? Happen. Continue. Our last hope. Despite your wounds and exhaustion, the gates of Haven still stand. General Soren is defeated and the rebellion is safe. From his violent ambitions, you collapse to the ground in a euphoric exhaustion until the grateful residents of Haven venture outside their gates to treat your wounds and to celebrate your victory. Continue. <laughs> Haven hosts a victory feast that lasts deep into the night. The villagers eat, drink, and be merry, and even teach you to dance the local jig. You had worried they would blame you for the danger, but Benix leads the toast to celebrate you as their defenders. In the morning, you finally reestablish contact with the rebellion and send your summary report to the Alliance Command. They suggest you take some time to heal your wounds before returning to battle, and you can't think of a better place to rest other than right where you are. The long winter gives way to a beautiful mountain spring. Your adventures continue, but you never forget the sun rises, crisp air, and sweet flowers of Haven. The end. Return to Hoth. So we did lose one in there. We have four missions won. Hall of Fame 447, new high score. And thank you for coming. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and come back for Java's Realm, which will be up in a little bit. Not right away, though. Thanks. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe.